This is Dabu 7 with some urgent news pertaining to this EBT crisis. What you're looking at is a letter from the USDA that was, writ that was written to the Crossroads Urban Center inside of Utah. They have essentially came out and told them that as of the 15th of the month, which is today, which is the day that they start to prepare for the following month, sending files and, and data to get orders for food and product ready for delivery for the following month. They are ordering them to them and all of the states, as they state right here, directing the states to hold their November issuance files and delay transmissions to the state's EBT vendors until further notice. That could be indefinitely. This is huge news. This is a letter that each and every one of you out there that are on EBT should have got, don't you think? But you didn't. And as long as this government is shut down, it's we're two weeks into it, two weeks from now is the first of a new month. And if this happens, what you've just seen in these recent events with EBT will go 100-fold into chaos. Um, this is a pre-planned event, in my opinion, and this is a dress. This was a dress rehearsal and a test uh, to see what would happen. They failed with Trayvon Martin, and to try to incite riots between races and to turn the people on each other. They failed in many other ways, and the only one way that th that's going to work for them, in my opinion, is to pull the plug or to take away their food. And both of which could happen if the grid goes down, or as we've just seen, the grid doesn't have to go down. They can do this. We, th this is huge information. This is something that anyone out there in EBT should have got, don't you think? But no. Granted, they could fix this tomorrow in this the whole government thing. They could, they could fix it, but they're only going to postpone the inevitable. This is a situation I feel is destined to happen. It's going to happen again, and I don't want any of you to forget this. Okay? They're putting out a warning right here telling you that come November, and I'll leave links so you guys can watch this. You can watch the whole news link from Fox here. They interview the guy at the Urban Center, and he says if they shut down food stamps, there's no way the food pantries can hold this. No way. It's going to fold in and over 100,000 families won't get food benefits and they will go hungry as of the beginning of, of November, November 1st. So there you go. This is real deal. And it's happening behind the scenes. They've posted it. They want to make it known. I'm doing my part to get it out there. Please help spread the word. This is critical information if you know somebody on EBT that is depending on this. There's two sides to this. There are the people that really need this, the veterans that I fight will fight for because they fought for us that are depending on this right now that deserve this. And there's the vultures that have laid on their back, popping out children, uh, soaking up the HUD, the WIC, the housing, the Obama phones, the child support, sucking the system. Perfectly, physically fit, able-minded, body, bodied people. Perfectly physically fit that are not working or doing anything leeching off this government that are taking away from the people that need it. So in, in the long run, it's all going to come crashing down. I honestly can't tell you of a better scenario if I was them, if I, if I was the tyrants here trying to round up these people and to get them into the socialistic state. Um, either pull the plug and take out the grid or you take away the food. And I believe that this was a dress rehearsal test run 100%. And they timed it out perfect the other night. Uh, when they took down the system um, for two hours between seven and nine, um, if it would have gone any further, it would have got way out of control. And they just let them go ahead and take the food. They had them all on camera. Uh, they played it out strategically, and what? And it only happened. It hit in strategic areas. If you look at those areas and look at the footage, it all starts to come together. And they seen what the people did, but. Come November, the beginning of November, it's not going to be people just leaving those carts behind. They will be heading for those doors with those carts. And it will affect those of you not on EBT because the same grocery store that you go to to get food will be wiped clean. This is the perfect end game scenario for them. 
Because regardless of your race, your religion, your color, anything, anyone's going to kill you to survive. It doesn't matter. This is exactly what they've always wanted. And I can't, th I can't think of a better way. Besides the power going down, I couldn't think of a better way for them to get their way. Send in martial law roundup, and I'm not joking. All hell was about to break loose Saturday night had not that system had been fixed. And if it would have stretched across the whole country, which it will next time, it's game over. Prepare, folks. This Congress has two weeks to get these things right, or this is what you can expect. That is a fact. I'll leave links, as always, so you guys can read up on it. And please stop going to these government pages, looking at their numbers and what they're staying, saying, and relying on their information when they haven't been updated for two weeks. Even if they say that money has been put in place to back this for years to come, it doesn't matter once this government is shut down and all chaos starts to take place. I also, before I go, I want you to think about one thing here with this whole whole setup. I'm hearing many people already snowballing all this information about EBT together, saying that it was a company's glitch error that caused this whole thing and that they fixed it and it won't happen again. Wrong. This whole thing went down October 1st, the day of the shutdown. Uh, there was essentially an order put in for everything to shut down um, and everything got stalled out there were places that weren't accepting EBT it wasn't the EBT wasn't wasn't affected directly but all their vendors that were connected some of them were shut down uh, supply chains through government routes when they're shut down stuff's not going to get to where it needs to go so that was the initial problem there what happened at these Walmarts was a separate incident. It was a two-hour incident, separate from the other. So when they come on the news and they say that this whole EBT thing was because of Xerox, don't get it twisted, okay? At that The whole EBT thing's been ongoing. What happened at those Walmarts was a two-hour incident, okay, that they closely monitored. They let every single person go, even the ones that they caught. They closely monitored, monitored the situation, and that's what they wanted out of it. And you've got to ask yourself, from being, from putting yourself in a security position of a security engineer for any company, whether it's a credit card, whether any any kind of anything with value, would anything that you put out there have a default mechanism to automatically throw no limit? Do you think that those those cash machines and ATMs are programmed to where if you shut down the electric, it's going to start spitting out cash? I don't think so, folks. It has to be programmed that way. Are you following me? It has to be programmed to read no limit. Xerox is stating they were doing a routine check and the power went out and it caused a glitch and it caused all that to happen. That's BS. And if you have any bit of a brain, you should know it. That is impossible. That program, the whole EBT system programming had to have been programmed and routed that way and set up to give that response. No, the no limit feature had to be put in there in the first place for it to even work. Why would anyone put a no limit feature in an area where electric is dropped in, in that same buffer zone? Why would you do it? Oh, well, I'm, we're, we're a bank. If the electric goes out, all the cash registers are going to pop open, start spitting out money. Do you see what I'm saying? This is a setup. There's no way in hell the power going down calls those cards to say no limit. If anything, they would not have read. They would, they would not have read. Do you feel me? They just would not have read. And they would have been turned down. Instead, they read no limit? Jackpot? Are you kidding me? Test run, folks. Dress rehearsal. Don't forget it. And this is what's coming down the pipe our way if Congress doesn't get this together. And yet they're telling nobody. Share this with everybody you know that's connected to EBT. It's going to affect us all one way or another if they don't get it together. I'll leave links. This has been Dabu7. 
eyes open.